I still remember when I was a kid, I asked my dad, do I have to die? He simply shrugged his shoulders, didn't try to comfort me or anything, just added, yes, because that's just how it is. Recently, I've been overthinking about death a lot, which is the reason this video exists. I get reminded that I'm going to die one day. I won't just wake up in the morning for forever. Just a few days ago, I had a text session with my sister and it made me think about the fact that all this, it just doesn't last forever. It doesn't. One day I won't be able to call my sister, tell my parents how much I appreciate them, go, or go to the arcade with my friends. No more stress, no more worries, no more anxiety either, none of that. The only thing we will all feel is nothing. I found this analogy and it's probably one of the deepest ones you'll ever hear in your life. So just stick with me, okay? Your life is like a two-week holiday. Yeah, it sounds like something Prince EA or something would say, but hear me out. When we check into our hotel, we're tired, so let's just relax and take it easy, right? We're so tired from the flight, so why not just chill in the room? For many people, this is being in your college, university years. There's so many places we want to go, but we still got a shitload of time left. In this holiday analogy, a couple of days pass, you've done some stuff, but you thought you would have done so much more. Seen all the attractions by now. In real life, you're now 35 years old. You still got time, but the thought of going back starts to take shape. In this case, the thought of death. Keep in mind you're not old yet, it's just that little thought in the back of your head. Near the end of the holiday, you're rushing everything, trying to see everything because you know you're going soon. The biggest lie that we as young teenagers get told nowadays, I assume you're a young teen if you're watching this, is that we still have plenty of time left. Going back to the analogy, that's when you've just arrived at the hotel. What they're telling you is, oh, we just chill in the hotel, there's so much time left but your wonderful bitch ass knows that in reality, we don't have that much time left. The holiday will end soon, but that shouldn't fill you with dread. Now you know you don't have that much time left, so go and live it. Make the fullest out of the present moment. Just look back on your childhood. Think of all those memories. You're at the playground, you're gaming with your friends, and that place that you always associate with your childhood. You do anything to go back to those times, right? Your younger self didn't value those times, but now you, your current version of you, values those times. Now you don't value the present moment. You think the past was so much better, but I can promise you with 100% certainty that future you will look back on now where you are right now and think, damn, those were the good old days. Because time goes just like that. One of my biggest pieces of advice to you is either work or play. Nothing in between. The Alpha Sigma males on YouTube will try to convince you to work 24-7. But remember this, time spent having fun is not time wasted. Time spent well doing things that you love is time well spent. Time spent well is time well spent. Try to cut out all the time that's spent not living in the present moment. This includes overthinking about the past, drowning in nostalgia, and the very best example of not living in the present moment is scrolling. Here's one exercise. Name me the last two videos you watched on like YouTube Shorts or TikTok. Exactly, exactly fucking, fucking exactly. You don't remember because you weren't living in the present moment. The only memories you have is when you were in the present moment. I'm not here to tell you how you should live your own life. My channel slogan is literally chill self-improvement. Notice the word self. But none of us live like we'll be gone one day because to our brains, we won't. We wake up every single day, so our brains subconsciously think that this will never end. If we actually live like that, we'd stop caring about the pointless opinions of others. They would go out of their comfort zone more, start exercising, ask that girl out, take that risk. I'm not saying you need to work your ass off every day, but work like you have 50 years left to live and play like you, there's no tomorrow. Play like you have no tomorrow. Remember that on your deathbed, you won't be wishing you played more video games, scrolled more, or pleased the kids in your high school. Many people die wishing they chased their dreams, spent time with their loved ones, or fulfilled their purpose. I don't want that to be you.